What's up guys, Brady from Experience Fitness back here again. Today I'm gonna be teaching you all about proper use of the machines, not only how to figure out the little gadgets and bells and whistles, but also how to get them to activate the correct muscles that we're trying to use when on these machines. All right guys, so when starting out on the chest press, the first thing you wanna do is adjust the seat level. Most of them go right here, they have a little lever. If they don't have a lever, you can usually just pick them up, drop them down. Now the ideal seat height is gonna be so your arms are right at about 90 and your elbows come a little bit below because that's the proper mechanics that we wanna be using for our pushing form. All right, so now that we got the seat adjusted, the next thing we're gonna do is make sure that we're priming to use the correct muscles. Here we're gonna be wanting to activate the chest, a little bit of the front of the shoulder, and then some tricep as well. So to do this, we're gonna retract our shoulder blades and try and pinch them together on the seat, sit up tall, have our hands firmly on the grips, then push straight forward, focusing on activating the chest through the movement. So the movement starts with the chest contracting and then we extend the elbows where the triceps and the front shoulders come in. Just like that. Focus on the breathing. Inhale in. Breathe out as we push. All right, so now when using this machine, what we don't want to do is use it incorrectly and activate more of the muscles that we're not trying to use. So these are going to be front of the shoulder, some traps, some people like to shrug, and the tricep as a prime mover. It's mostly going to be the chest. So the following are some examples of improper use of this machine. Now, that was improper because you noticed my traps were shrugged up, which causes you to press more with your arm and less with your chest because you're not retracting and keeping your shoulders down and back, which allows that chest to be the prime mover. So definitely, definitely want to keep those shoulders down and back, and that chest nice and big when we're pressing through the movement. So this is improper because everything is rolled forward. When everything's rolled forward, we're activating the front part of our body. And in this case, it's gonna be the front shoulder and the tricep, which isn't what we want. Again, we want the chest as the prime mover. So I see this a lot in people who are trying to lift far too much weight and don't focus on really what they're doing and activating the correct muscle. Again, always sit up tall, retract the shoulders back, and push with the chest first, then allow your triceps to take over at the end. All right guys, so that's all I got for you today. If you like this video and you enjoy learning more about fitness, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you enjoy our content and you wanna stay up to date, be sure to subscribe as well. If you have any specific machines that you wanna see or any other questions that you might have, leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to answer those for you. Have a great rest of your day and stay fit, guys.